boat just came from Lisbon. It stopped in Ponta Delgada, Tercia, São Jorge, and probably Fayal, and then Horta, and then back to Lisbon. It's about two days from Lisbon, Portugal, to uh, São Jorge. This is what the gentleman I was speaking with earlier he said it takes about two days for this boat to get from Lisbon to the Azores. There is a vital piece of equipment, no doubt about it. It helps the economy here locally in Belas because all the goods and uh, equipment are shipped on these containers. And it's one way, it's a logistical process to get the containers from A to B, the goods from A to B. Stack him over there. I don't know if he'll turn around or not. But maybe not. Maybe he is. Those things are heavy, aren't they? equipment. These guys should have a hard hat on, huh? So I don't know if that would really help with something like that drop. That boat is a vital part of South Georgia's economy. Those men are working over there. You gotta have it. All pieces to the big puzzle. Here comes another container. I'm here on the port at Bella Sao George in the Azores, which is part of Portugal. got cattle up there on the hill. I don't know if you see that or not. There's a cow up there, maybe two. A little bit of a marina over there. It's a You can see the lava. This is one big lava mountain <laughs> volcano. A little bit smoky. <laughs> I'm a lightweight when it comes to smoke, that's for sure. My lungs aren't that great, but uh, lungs weren't meant to breathe smoke. They're meant to breathe air. I should say lungs were designed to breathe air, not designed to breathe smoke. A lot of smoke coming from that stack up there, so he's got his engines, engines idling. I'm on top of uh, the, this is the deck here on the roof of the, uh, the uh, terminal to the boat. There's a ferry that leaves from here, goes all the way to Pico, which is the island. You, well, you can see it faintly over that wall there. See the volcano there? There's a body of water between San George and Pico. The ferry comes here, goes out the port and takes you to Pico. It's about 15, uh, 15 euros each way. There's another ferry that goes from here to uh, Fayal, which is another island just to the west of Pico. You can't see the peak of Pico because it's it's uh, it's uh, hidden by clouds, but that peak gets to 7,000 feet high. And I'm on the island of Sao Jorge, which is a lot more low, lower profile, I think, than the others. <clears throat> the uh, bus schedule runs, uh, not the bus schedule, the reason I said bus schedule, I was supposed to catch the bus schedule, to, or bus today, but uh, the ferry schedule is, uh, oh boy, what is it? Round trip, you can go from 
if you leave in the morning, you can go round trip from uh, Saint George to Pico. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday round trip, but Tuesdays and Thursdays are not round trip. They don't come back till the next day, so they're just one way on Tuesdays and Thursday from Saint George to Pico, if my memory serves me correctly. And. Uh, <clears throat> had a neat little fair today with the kiddos there walking down the main street there in Vellus put on the other videos there if you want to check them out neat experience neat country no doubt about it Portugal is a great country what a privilege to come and visit no doubt about it the Portuguese people are great people very friendly very hospitable I wish I spoke a little bit more Portuguese, <laughs> but still. That's one thing that's still an asset, uh, not an asset, but a uh, 